goes to Manchester United for 45 million euros plus 5 in a dons. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel, Fabrizio Romano here as always to keep you posted on the transfer market. Today guys, Manchester United, here we go are coming, but also thing to say about Chelsea, something to clarify on Victor Osimhen, what's next? Let's jump into it together. <music> We are in the weekend, but many movements on the market. Uh, finally, Dom Solanke to Tottenham is official. It was an exclusive story, and now record signing for Tottenham 65 million pounds. Also, Fabio Carvalho leaves Liverpool while they are still working to convince Martin Zubimendi to join the club, waiting for his final decision. And Fabio Carvalho goes to Bradford for 20 million pounds plus 7.5 in a dons and 17.5 percentage of future sale, so a sell on close into the deal with Bradford for Fabio Carvalho. Movements around Europe, movements in England, because it's important to say that we have many, here we go, and many details to give you. First of all, Aaron Wambisaka to West Ham, is a here we go, is confirmed, is a story we told you here several times, and it's a crucial story, because May United, as I told you many times, were waiting for Wambisaka to leave in order to bring in a new right back and also a new centre back. And now it's happening. Juan Bissaka goes to West Ham. Permanent transfer for Man United is an important one because he had one year left on his contract. Uh, Juan Bissaka had also other possibilities, maybe to stay at United, wait for an opportunity next summer, like Inter. Inter were interested in Juan Bissaka over a potential move next summer on a free, not in a swap deal this summer. But Juan Bissaka decides to accept West Ham. Ham. So, five-year contract for Wan-Bissaka, medical test Sunday morning, everything done also between Manchester United and West Ham, 15 million pounds. This is going to be the value of the deal, and West Ham are on fire because they are signing many players uh, after the new coach, Lopetegui, Max Kilman, then uh, Guido Rodriguez, Crescencio Summerville, uh, many others, uh, now obviously also Jean-Claire Todibo, and they have no intention to stop. Also, Niklas Fulkrug, obviously, as new striker, the next one will would be one bisaka it's a really really important one for west ham and for manchester united because we can say that after the video i released here on my channel yesterday if you're following the channel guys you can see that yesterday night i told you may united are going to attack the market may united want to sign at least three more could be four and now we have the two players they wanted. Masraoui and the Ligt to Manchester United is a here we go. Because it's deal, the deal is done with Bayern and we have to mention that Manchester United have been successful in negotiations because they closed the deal as they wanted. Probably the timing was longer than expected, but it was worth it for Manchester United because they always wanted to include add-ons in both negotiations. Bayern, for almost two months, were keeping their word, no add-ons, guaranteed 50 million euros fee for Matthijs De Ligt and guaranteed 20 million euros fee for Masraoui as part of the negotiation with Manchester United. Man United always been insisting on add-ons and now we can say that De Ligt goes to Manchester United for 45 million euros plus 5 in add-ons. So there are add-ons included and these 5 million euros. Buyer sources say that these 5 million euros are quite easy to reach, but it's still add-ons as part of the deal. For Nusair Masraoui, 15 million euros plus 5 in add-ons. This is the double deal between Manchester United and Bayern, with Bayern now expected to sign one more centre-back. Jonathan Ta is waiting for them. His agent, Pini Zahavi, is still working on the deal for Jonathan Ta to go to Bayern. So let's wait for the developments for Jonathan Ta to Bayern, but he's expected to be the new centre-back for the German club. And then, guys, important to say that now Manchester United will plan for all the, por the formal steps for Matthijs De Ligt and Nusair Masraoui to travel. So he's expected tomorrow, the medical test for Juan Bissaka, right after Manchester United will be ready for the travel, the medical of Matthijs De Ligt and Nusair Masraoui. Both players will sign a five-year deal at Manchester United, 2029, plus option for further season. This is the agreement, an agreement that the agent of the player, Rafaela Pimenta, reached in June in the case of Matthijs De Ligt, 
two months waiting for Manchester United. The league was already with the national team at the Euros and waiting and waiting and waiting for Manchester United, not negotiating with any other club. He only wanted Manchester United. And then in July, the same with Nusair Masraoui. Also, Masraoui uh, was waiting for United. In this case, Man United arrived later. They decided later that they only wanted Masraoui. They also considered other options, including Dumfries, including Vanderson, including others. But now they sign Nusair Masraoui and the player has been patiently waiting for them also because Man United believe that Masraoui can be obviously a very good right back knows Eric Tenag so well, they were together at Ajax, but also as left back could be really important to cover that position when sometimes players like Malassia, Luke Shaw are injured and so for Man United to have one more option like Masraoui could be really important. So their patience means now a deal done. Remember that the payment terms are also another crucial point for Man United because the elite 45 plus 5 million euros will be paid in three years and this is a crucial step for Man United because of financial fair play and also the timing was absolutely important. Let me tell you guys something more. The Manchester United will now focus on the midfielder. Let's wait to see what happens with Jadon Sancho. Sancho is one of the cases of this market, but in terms of new midfielder, Manchester United remain busy. May United spoke to the agents of Sander Berg, May United called the agents of several players in the midfield in terms of opportunities, but their top target remains Manuel Ugarte from PSG. In order to sign Ugarte, there are two chances. Or PSG drops the price because May United will not pay crazy money, Otherwise, May United should sell at least one player in that position. Could be McTominay, could be Casemiro, we will see. But May United needs a sale in order to finance the deal for Manuel Lugarte. Otherwise, they will go for another midfielder, potentially cheap midfielder. So let's see what happens with options like Sander Berg. They spoke to the agent. I always told you that Sofian Amrabat was not signed on a permanent transfer from Fiorentina, but remains a player in the list of Manchester United, appreciated by Eric Ten Hag. So they have some options, some plan B, in case the Ugarte deal doesn't work, but Man United are still waiting to see what happens with Paris Saint-Germain. And then Chelsea, guys, to finish this uh, uh, video, because Omar Odion is in London, ready to sign a seven-year deal. Pedro Neto completed his medical test at Chelsea, six-year deal plus option, so Chelsea is always busy on the market. But now four players are completely out of the project. Romero Lukaku, we know that. Lukaku is waiting for Napoli, three-year contract, uh, just waiting to proceed in the next days with this deal for Romero Lukaku. Kepa, the goalkeeper who is expected to leave Chelsea, he's dreaming of Real Madrid in the final days of the market, but depends on what happens with uh, Lunin. And then also Armando Broya is no longer training with the first team, but with the young players. Same for Trevo Chaloba. They have to find a solution. Chelsea want around 30 million pounds for Chaloba, asking price. Broya is on the market. And also important to say that David Datro Fofana is another player who could leave Chelsea on a permanent transfer or loan with obligation. So Chelsea will be busy with the outgoings. Many questions on Victor Osiman. Guys, I can guarantee to you that nothing is changing today, yesterday, tomorrow. So this weekend will be quiet for the Victor Osiman story. But the plan remains to leave. At the moment, there is still no formal bid from Chelsea for Victor Osiman. So all the reports in the recent days are still not something that they can confirm. Chelsea are still waiting. Chelsea are working on the Lukaku deal with Napoli because Lukaku wants to go to Napoli and Napoli wants to sign Lukaku. For Osiman, we have to be patient and see what happens because, again, Osiman is still not accepting a loan and this is the only way at the moment for Chelsea and because Victor Osiman will not reduce his salary. So conditions have to change, otherwise other stories can happen around Victor Osiman in the final three weeks of the transfer market. And so guys, tell me your thoughts on all these stories from Manchester United, here we go, but also Wan-Bissaka, De Ligt, Mazarawi, Ugarte and all the rest of the story. Also Victor Osiman and the players leaving Chelsea, let me know your opinion here. Like this video, turn on the notification bell, subscribe to the channel. See you soon. Ciao!